Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, Senior Leader of the Awakening House of Prayer Global Movement. Our headquarters, our home base church is here in South Florida. We're in Fort Lauderdale, Awakening House of Prayer. We also have churches in Birmingham and Colinga, California, houses of prayer and prayer hubs in 18 nations of the earth. Connect with us. If you're a person of prayer, I want to take you higher. Come to our Sunday services in Fort Lauderdale, 1047 a.m., practical everyday life, helping you walk in God's best, 1047 a.m., 130 p.m., an empowerment service, equipping, pressing into the deeper things of God. You need both. We need to be balanced Christians. Come, two separate services, two separate messages, two separate worship teams. Somebody say it, two separate encounters. Amen. God is good. If you're not in South Florida, well, maybe you need to move here. But if you can't do that, you can watch our first service online at ahop.online, www.ahop.online. Consider becoming a web church member. Tap into my archives. Have a personal invitation to my virtual life group most Tuesdays. Get that prayer support that you need. Amen. That pastoral care. God is good at Awakening House of Prayer. Where are you? Come on. Join the movement. Awakening Prayer Hubs. I'm looking for a thousand prayer leaders. I'm on this number a thousand. I'm going to be sharing more about that number soon. A thousand prayer hub leaders. That's what I'm after. Why? Because there's something about that number. Of course, we want more prayer hubs than that. But that's my first godly goal. Setting goals with the Holy Spirit will ensure success. Did you know that? I said setting goals with the Holy Spirit will ensure success. AwakeningPrayerHubs.com is a prayer movement endorsed by Cindy Jacobs, Mike Bickle, James Gall, Dick Eastman, uh, Becca Greenwood, Patricia King, Alveda King, and many others. I'm looking for prayer warriors to raise up as prayer leaders. There's a leader in you somewhere. Let it out. Amen. God needs your prayers, the unity, the corporate prayers from your small group lifting up into the atmosphere so he can answer and bring revival to the nations. We're revival minded prayer movement. Amen. Ignite Network. Join that movement if you're a prophetic person. IgniteNow.org. IgniteNow.org. We've ignited thousands of prophetic voices in Ignite Network, IgniteNow.org. That also offers the company of the Sears and so on and so on and so on. People are learning and growing, going deeper. And just the alignment, just the the, the covering, the prophetic covering, being under that umbrella, people are, are experiencing. They tell me over and over again that they become more prophetic just by aligning in the network, even if they don't prophesy every day and take part every day. They're there. There's a, something about getting under the faucet Amen. God is good. Today we're reading from mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still small voice of God. And today's devotion, listen, is titled, Unlock the Power of My Covenant with You. Unlock it. Somebody say, unlock it. Unlock the power of my covenant with you. And here's what I heard the Lord say. When you said yes to Jesus, when you received him as your Lord and Savior, You entered a covenant relationship that you did not understand. You still do not grasp the depth of our everlasting covenant with you, says the Lord. We will never break the covenant, but you cannot receive the fullness of what it offers until you understand it more fully. Open the scriptures and study about this covenant. As you do, I will pour out revelation and understanding that will unlock blessings as you do i will pour out understanding that will unlock blessings come on god is good 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 all the time let's press into this psalm 105 verse 8 hebrews 6 17 18 and matthew 26 verse 28 And now the prayer starter for today. Thank you for your covenant with me. You are not a covenant breaker, but a covenant keeper. Please give me more understanding about the sacred covenant we have entered into. Give me revelation about the holy contract that binds us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Father, we give you praise today. We honor you because you're a covenant-keeping God. You will never, 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 ever break your covenant with us. The covenant is cut in the blood of Christ. 
the covenant between you and us, O oh God, is cut in the blood of Christ. We thank you for the blood of Christ. We thank you for the sacrifice that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, made on that cross. We are eternally grateful for the eternal security that the blood and faith in that blood and the resurrection brought into our lives affords us. God, we thank you. We praise you. Come on, this is a sober moment. Just understand. Just praise him for the blood. The shed blood of Calvary. Do you understand? He shed his blood for you. There's atonement in the blood. The covenant was cut in the blood. There can be no covenant without blood. And Jesus was willing to be the lamb. The sacrificial lamb of God who took away the sins of the world. Washed us clean by his blood. Cleansed us from all unrighteousness by his blood. That is why we are able to stand before him. That is why we are able to approach his throne boldly. So we do today, God. We approach your, your throne of grace boldly. We come to you, God, with, a, with a, a righteousness consciousness, an understanding of who we are, who you made us to be. It's not by our own works, but it's by the works of Christ. It's not by our own striving. It's by the blood of Jesus. We thank you. We adore you. We lay our lives down for you, God. We say today we will become living sacrifices. Holy, acceptable to God. It's our reasonable service. You saved us from a fiery, eternal hell. You saved us. You rescued us out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of your dear son, the kingdom of light. You translated us. God, we thank you. Just let that sink in. Look what he has done for you. Look what he has done for you. Remember what he has done for you. Remember his benefits. God, we're so grateful. It would have been enough had you just saved us alone, saved us from eternal torment. That would have been enough. Frankly, that would have been more than we deserve. But you are so good that you have listed benefits of the covenant. The blessings of Abraham coming down upon the Gentiles. Father, we give you praise and honor. With our whole heart, we praise you. With our whole life, we praise you. With our innermost being, we praise you. We praise you in our emotions. We praise you with our reasoning. God, let everything that we do bring glory to your name because you are glory worthy. You are worthy. You are glory worthy. You are the glorious God, the glorious warrior God who fought the hordes of hell to bring salvation to us on a cross. We praise you and we thank you. We bow in wonder and awe of you. We bow in wonder of your great mercy. We bow in wonder in awe of your great love, the everlasting love. Your mercies endure forever. That is the God we serve. We praise you today, the God of deliverance. We bow in love before you, the holy God. The holy God who makes us holy. God said, be ye holy, even as I am holy. The Holy Spirit makes us holy, glory to glory, little by little. We're changing into the image of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Yahweh, you are our soul's celebration. We celebrate your glory. We celebrate your goodness. We celebrate who you are. Every aspect of your character is pure. It is beautiful. You're a lovely God and a loving God. That is who you are. We celebrate the King of Kings. We cast our crowns at your feet today. You alone are worthy of our praise. Come on, go somewhere with me. You are our soul's celebration. Our soul longs for you. Our soul hungers for you. Our soul thirsts for you. And your word tells us in Matthew 5, blessed are those who hunger. Blessed are those who thirst after righteousness because they will be filled Father, help us walk 
through this day, full of your Holy Spirit. Help us walk through this day, full of your power. Walk through this day, full of your wisdom, so we can show forth the praises of God, the excellencies of God, the wisdom of God to a lost and dying world. Help us walk today as living epistles where our life magnifies the Lord even if we never open our mouths, just our conduct, how we carry ourselves, our posture, the look upon our faces. Let all of these aspects of our being glorify you. How could we ever forget the miracles of kindness that God has done for us. Whatever you're walking through right now, whatever you're going through right now, God sent me to tell you, remember my kindness. Remember my mercy. For I have not changed, says the Lord, and I will not fail you, says the Lord. So remember who I really am and not who the enemy paints me to be in the middle of your trouble. For I am still faithful, says the Lord. I am a faithful God. I am a faithful witness. Even when you're not faithful, I am faithful, says the Lord, and I will pick you up and carry you if I have to. Just let me. Just surrender to me. Just trust in me. Just believe in me, says the Lord. Forget not my benefits. Forget not my covenant. Forget not my promises. Forget not the prophetic words that I've spoken to your heart with my still small voice. Choose to believe me, says the Lord, for I am good, says God. Remember that when you're walking through the fire. I am good. I will not allow you to be burned. I will not allow you to take on or to be inundated with more than you can handle. But I have strengthened you in the past season, says the Lord, and I have made you able to stand, says the Lord. Do not underestimate the work I did in you in the past season, says the Lord. Do not underestimate the power that dwells on the inside of you, says the Lord, but rise up in confidence in who you are in me and who I've made you to be. The rights, the privileges, the blessings that I have put upon your life, they will not fade despite the warfare. They will not expire despite the trial. I have you in my hands. Let me guide you. Let me show you a better way, says the Lord. Let me show you my way. Let me show you how I think. Let me show you what's to come. And you will see what you're fighting for. And you will find the motivation in your heart again. Because I know that you grow weary in the warfare. But when you remember what you're fighting for, let me show you what you're fighting for. Let me remind you of my yes and amen promises, says the Lord. Let that holy vigor rise up in you. A righteous indignation swell up in you so that you can push back the enemies of your faith, so that you can push back the darkness in my name. Just let your light shine and the enemy will flee from you. Let me fill you. Let me show you. Let me help you for I am your helper, says the Lord. The friend that sticks closer than a brother, I am with you. Whatever it is that you're walking through, You might not think that I see it, says the Lord, but I see it. I see your circumstances, but I remember the covenant, says the Lord. My God, that's good. I see your circumstances, but I remember the covenant. Did you hear that? He sees your circumstances. Sometimes we go through trials or tribulations and we wonder, God, you even see, are you even paying attention? Like, what? do you hear me? Are you seeing this, God? God is saying, I see your circumstances, but I remember the covenant. He's not going to let you fall. If you're walking in his will, if you're trying to walk in his will, he's not going to let you fail. He'll pick you up and carry you if he has to. God, you are so good. You are so, so good. You are so, so good. Even when we miss it, you kiss our heart with forgiveness. In spite all we've done, you heal us from the inside out. 
from every natural and spiritual disease. That is who you are. That is our covenant God. He heals us, not just from physical ailments, but from soul wounds, from broken spirits. You heal us from the inside out. You rescued us from hell. You saved our life. You've crowned us with love and mercy. You didn't have to do it, but you did. It pleased you. It was the good, it was the pleasure of God to give you the kingdom. It was his good pleasure. He leads us. He guides us by the kind intentions of his will. He doesn't have to do it, but he's so invested in us. He's so invested in you. Father, help us to be good stewards of your investment. Lord, a lot of fire in us today based on your passion for us. Reveal to us as you just did. Continue to reveal to us your passion for us. Help us to see, truly see and receive your love. To truly receive your love, not just talk about it. Not just, not just think about it, not just read about it, not just hear the preacher say God loves you, but to receive your love. It's the greatest benefit of all. It's the greatest benefit of all. It's the greatest benefit of all. It's his love. Because he is love. He gave himself to us. That is the greatest benefit. All of these other things, they're ancillary. Father, thank you that you satisfy our every desire with good things. You supercharge our life so that we can soar again, no matter if the enemy in past seasons clipped our wings. You supercharge our life. You heal us. You restore us. You reconcile us. You reintegrate us so that we can soar again like a flying eagle in the sky with prophetic perspective on our circumstances. We're rising, we're rising, we're rising, we're rising. Come on today, we're rising higher in the love of God. The love of God is lifting us up. His love is lifting us up. I said, his love is lifting us up. I said, his love is lifting, let it. His love is carrying you, let it. His love is is healing you, would you let it? His love is delivering you, would you let it? He is love, he is here. Wherever you are, there he is. The manifest presence of God is all around me. He's the God who makes things right. He's the God who gives justice to the defenseless. Father, we thank you that you're so kind, you're so tender hearted, even to those who don't deserve it. You're still kind. You make the sun to shine on the good and the evil. We praise you. You're so patient even when we fall, even when we went the wrong way, knowing we went the wrong way. You're still there when we're ready to come back. That's how good you are. You never leave us. You never forsake us. You never reject us. You never abandon us. That spirit of adoption always woos us back to your heart. Your love is like a flooding river overflowing its banks with kindness. The floodgates of God's love are open this morning. Are you under the spigot? Are you under the open heaven? Are you under the portal? I said, the floodgates of God's love is open this morning. Are you experiencing what I'm experiencing in this moment? His love is like a flooding river overflowing its banks with kindness. He doesn't look to us just to find our faults. He's not a fault finder. He looks at us with eyes of compassion and mercy and love, kindness. We thank you. We praise you for that. We thank you. We praise you for that, even for your discipline. We thank you. We praise you for your discipline, for your conviction. We thank you and we praise you for your conviction in our lives that when we're going the wrong way, you would convict us of our sins and forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of our sins. You kiss our hearts with forgiveness in spite of what we do. That's how good you are. It's a covenant. It's a covenant. It's a covenant. He's not a covenant, covenant breaker. Thank you, Jesus. Higher than the highest heavens. That's how high your tender mercy extends to us, oh God. Higher than the highest heavens. Greater than the grandeur of heaven above is the greatness of 
God's loyal love towards us. It's towering over us. Do you understand? Are you under the portal? The floodgates of heaven are pouring out the love of God even now. Shama sherobosha bakati dibosha. Ora ma sharada baba shukotora baba shekite dibeshi. We thank you, God. We praise you. As far as the east is from the west, that's how far you've removed our guilt from us. You've removed the shame. You've removed the sin. As we repent, as we confess, we're clean. Wash us with the water of the word, O oh God. We live in awe of you. We live in awe of you. We stand in awe of you. Your endless love stretches from the beginning to the end of our lives, never failing, never faltering, never diminishing. Unrelenting love. We are in awe of you this morning, God. We stand in awe of you. Your faithfulness to generation, to generation, to generation. I just decree generational blessings manifesting in your life. I decree the generational blessings of God will manifest and overtake every curse. Because God's heavenly throne is eternal, it's secure, it's strong. His sovereignty rules the entire universe. So we bless the Lord and we thank you for the generational blessings. We take authority over generational curses and we release the generational blessings, a divine exchange today. We're turning the wrong things right by the power of God. The generational curses breaking, 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 breaking. We deactivate generational curses in Jesus name. We break the powers and deactivate Diffuse the generational curses that are working like a ticking time bomb in our life to steal, to destroy, to annihilate us. And we activate the generational blessings of God in our lives, in our bloodline, in the bloodline of Christ. The Abrahamic blessings all the way back to the beginning of time that you blessed anybody. God, we stand there in the bloodline of Christ. We activate those generational blessings. We activate every generational blessing in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you for the covenant in Jesus' name. Thank you for the covenant in Jesus' name. Thank you for the covenant in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. name. Now I want to deal with this. These, these cords of these cords of the wicked. Some of you need deliverance today, the cords of the wicked. I want you to share this with somebody right now. I'm going to take a sip of water and a sip of coffee. I want you to share this with somebody right now because we want to get into this deliverance time. I want to take authority over some things. Listen to me. Share this with everybody. This is not this is not a self-motivated request. I want people to get free. Would you help somebody get free? Would you help somebody get free right now by sharing this? Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, today that you are the deliverer. You are the deliverer, the delivering power of God actually dwells in us. So today we're going to cry out for that delivering power to rise up through us and break the bonds that hold us. Did you hear me? We're crying out today and I'm going to lead you. According to Psalm 129 verse 4. Because the delivering power dwells in us. The resurrection power dwells in us. The power that raised Christ from the dead dwells in us. We're going to cry out to God for the Holy Spirit to overtake from the inside the cords of wickedness that bound, bind us in our minds. Psalm 129.4 says, The Lord is righteous. He has cut me free from the cords of the wicked. 
The Lord is righteous. He has cut me free. He's the only one that can cut us free. And he wants to cut you free. He has cut me free from the ropes of the ungodly. He has cut the cords of the wicked. He has cut into the cords of the wicked. No matter what translation you read this in, the reality is, is that the Lord is the one who cuts the cords. The Lord is the one who cuts them asunder. He cuts them in two. He sets you free from the ropes of those cruel demon powers. He frees you from spiritual bondage. He cuts the ropes of the wicked. He cuts apart the cords of the wicked. Those chains that the enemy has wrapped around you. Those chains of fear. Those chains of trauma. Those chains of oppression. Those chains of depression. Those chains of perversion. Those chains of gluttony. Those chains of shame. Those chains of guilt that the enemy has wrapped around you. God will cut them. The righteous Lord has cut asunder the necks of of demons. He cuts them asunder. That's just another way of saying he cuts them in two. There are thick cords, some of you are bound. With thick cords, some of you are bound. With thick chains. God is your deliverer and your defender. He's going to break the chains of the evil once today, but you've got to repent. Some of you know what your trouble is. Repent, renounce, and be free. Repent, renounce, and be free. Repent, renounce, and be free. Repent, renounce. So, Father, we repent of tolerating demon powers. You're going to have to call out whatever it is that you're dealing with. We repent of fear. We repent of pride. Whatever it is, you know what's fighting you. Maybe you don't. Just repent. Repent for whatever you can think of, whatever the Holy Spirit brings to your mind. Do you understand me? Or we repent for lukewarmness. We repent, God, for our idols. We repent for walking in fear. We repent for walking in greed. We repent for tolerating Demon powers as they wrapped cords around us. The deception of our hearts, God. We repent. Come on, we repent. We repent of addictions. We're allowing ourselves to be led into these bondages when you were trying to lead us out. Now, some of you, these things happened. Most of you, these things happened before you were Christians. None of them happened in your mother's womb. But you still have to repent Because now that you've been saved, you know something's wrong. And some of you just continue to tolerate it because the church you're in doesn't do deliverance. That's not a good reason to stay in bondage. My friends, I'm just confronting a lie in your mind. It's not a good reason to stay in bondage just because your pastor doesn't do deliverance. That's not a good reason to stay in bondage. Jesus died in part so that you could walk in total freedom. Not so that you could be a Christian in bondage. So we repent for sitting in ministries that would not help us, refuse to help us. Don't believe in deliverance. And we stayed there anyway with demons, destroying our marriages and our finances, our peace of mind. We repent for that. In Jesus' name. Now, Lord, we renounce all agreement. We renounce all agreement. We strip the enemy of his legal rights. We renounce the fear. We renounce the shame. We renounce the guilt. We renounce the unforgiveness. Come on, whatever it is, renounce it. We renounce the greed. We renounce the whatever it is. We renounce it. We break every agreement with the enemy. We renounce rebellion. We renounce disobedience. We renounce these things that... Gave the enemy a legal right to wrap us in cords. We renounce these things in Jesus' name. When you gotta renounce them. You have to renounce them. I can't renounce them for you. You have to strip the enemy of his legal rights. You have to do that. I can't do that for you. Or we ask you to forgive us. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 
And now in the name of Jesus, I command every demon power that has wrapped you in cords to be bound, and I cast you out in Jesus' name. I speak to spirits of fear, and I command you to go in Jesus' name. I speak to spirits of trauma, and I command you to go in Jesus' name. I speak to spirits of false religion, and I command you to come out in Jesus' name. I speak to spirits of unforgiveness, and I command you to come out in Jesus' name. I speak to spirits of greed and lust, and I command you to come out in Jesus' name. I speak to spirits of infirmity and addiction, and I command you to come out in Jesus' name. Lord, cut these cords. Lord, rise up within us and evict the enemy. I plead the blood of Jesus over every person under the sound of my voice. I plead the blood of Jesus over every person under the sound of my voice. And I ask you, God, to deliver them from evil, to deliver them from every tie that binds, to deliver them top to bottom. Lord, cut the cords. Righteous God, 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 cut the cords. Deliver us from evil, O God. For your glory. It's for your glory. It's for your glory. I ask you, God, to fill us again with your spirit and help us to remember to renew our minds so the enemy does not find a way back in. Help us, Lord, to see how we got in so we can fortify our souls in those areas, walk worthy of our calling. You are the great and awesome God, the covenant-keeping God. We cut the bands asunder. We break the chains completely. And I decree that who the sun sets free is free indeed. I said who the sun sets free is free indeed. And I declare that you are freer right now than you were when you came on this prayer broadcast. If you truly repented and you truly renounced, something happened. You know, deliverance is a miracle. Deliverance is a miracle. Some of you, if you're not in a good Bible-based church that believes in the full gospel, you need to change churches. Don't sit up under that religion and think you're going to walk in freedom. Amen? The spirit of religion is a whole other level of bondage in and of itself. It steals the truth and perverts it. So we praise you, Lord. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on, isn't God good? You know, on my YouTube channel, there's just a ton of self-deliverance audios. You should go subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash JN Claire. Some of you are deliverance ministers in the making. You need to go over there and take my school of deliverance and start helping get equipped to get others set free. You can take the School of Deliverance at schoolofthespirit.tv. But if you want to sew today, you can do that at jenniferleclair.org slash donate. You can use the Cash App. Cash App is, I have a new one. I am, dollar sign, I am Jennifer LeClaire. It's a new one because they shut down the old one. It's Cash App, I am Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the text to give. Text to give is 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. You can use the PayPal, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the, the uh, Venmo. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. God is good. God bless you. Awakening Probes Trinidad is coming. I know it is. I'll see you later.